leg back just a little bit, David. Valentine is quick. You know, he, he tries, he, to, you know, tries and, to fake his opponent out. Saying, uh, he uh, mopes around. I was going to say, like a lot of times you look at his face and you think, hey, he's half asleep or yeah, something. Yeah, like he's on his but last somebody leg. Somebody dive in and boy, very quickly. It's like a snake. He'll jerk it right back out of the way very, That's very right. quick. Greg Valentine never asleep in that ring. Proclaiming himself now to be the new nature boy, David, That's right. since he busted up uh, Ric Flair's nose. And he, he did do a grade A number one job on that nose. That yeah, there's no doubt. I think uh, Ric Flair is going to do a grade A number one job on <laughs> Just on Valentine. That's huh? right. But you know, Greg Valentine had some help in what he did because uh, he used Gene Anderson's cane. Gene Anderson was in there. Uh, the Iron Sheik was there to hold Rick, and also I think uh, when Jimmy Snooker there, or was it Ray Stevens? David, I saw the film of that match again. And you I'm fans not... know. Yeah, you tell us. right. All right, a good takedown there by Valentine, who still has that arm. Look, David, earlier, we're talking about the world champ Harley race is going to be here. I had heard something also that's most interesting today, and I have not seen them, and I have not heard a whole lot about them, except I understand they're just a great tag team. Listen to this. The Sheep Herders from New Zealand, a tag team, I've are going to be here great. before very long. And I understand they are just an outstanding tag team. That's right. And it will be something to see them maybe go up against the World Tag Team Champions. We've got a lot of great tag teams that, that in the middle of the carry, plus teams. singles. Uh, the Sheep Herders are very good. Tag team. I've heard a great deal about them out on the West Coast, everywhere, all over the world. All right, Valentine. Well, he had Richie again back into that rope and again down on that arm muscle with that right hand. And Rich quickly now, Valentine backs away. That's right, Richie tried that for him. Valentine saw it coming. He he's going to get out of trouble if he can, and that's about the easiest way he could figure to do it. Back pedal, and he's gone right back to that arm again. And has that double wrist lock. Well, fans, regardless of what you think personally of Greg Valentine, here's a young man, and he is still a, a very young individual yes, who is. has a tremendous amount of whatever you want to call it going for him, just about everything. He's got a fantastic body, and he goes to go along with it. Still outside of that, he's got a tremendous amount of ability. Through the ropes goes, Richie. That's right. Yeah, he's got determination, as we say. He's got that ego. He's got that body. He's got the wrestling skill. He's got youth on his side. Uh, the elbow of his, that bionic elbow, the hammer. Uh, anything. And determination. Yeah, anything you want to mention. Valentine has got it in his corner. And regardless of what you think of him, you got to give the devil his due. In that ring, he is a mighty tough yes. customer. I thought of one thing Mr. Valentine does not have, and I think the wrestling fans would have to agree with me. What is that, David? Compassion. Oh, no. He doesn't have any of that. <laughs> you are absolutely 100% right. There is no compassion at all in Greg Valentine. I think he. I, I think, think he'd feel he Christmas likes, if he could. Well, somebody told me that maybe he gets his kicks, David, at night. He'll go out and step on bugs or something just to watch him die. I mean, you know, he, he really doesn't have any compassion at all. He is a <laughs> mean, mean person, Greg Valentine. Yes. He's probably one of these people like an amulet chaser. He'll just chase you because he'll wreck. <laughs> well, I tell you, you see a lot of guys, and, and sometimes, uh, depending on what kind of a mood they're in, they can be either rough or tough or nice, but you run into Greg Valentine, and he's always the same way. That guy's always sour, and he's always mean. He really is. All right, Richie now has got that arm, and Valentine just gets in that chin and pushes that head back. I tell you what, fans, now, I've been saying it's going to be a hot summer, which it is right now. You'll have to agree. It's hot outside, it's right. and it's hot inside. And we're going to have some hot matches, too, because when, when Greg Valentine and Ric Flair meet, something's got to give. I think Ric Flair, he can maybe he'll bust. There's that elbow. That's right. Maybe he'll bust Greg Valentine so hard it'll change his personality. <laughs> That's going to take some doing, isn't it? It sure is. And speaking of a uh, long, hot summer and hot matches, don't forget Jimmy Snook and Ray Stevens. That match is going to follow this That's one. right. Hey, and just think, Steamboat and Youngblood are in the studio. So oh, watch out. All uh, right. I would like to see them come in and just stand around and just watch him if nothing else, David. So it upset him a little bit. Get him you know what it upset Gene Anderson because he, he has <laughs> right. to be outside. All right, now Valentine again on the Ooh. attack, gets that knee again up into the midsection, and back to the ropes goes Richie in the corner. 
Valentine. And Valentine can really punish oh, you in the corner. Yes, he can. Ooh. He is taking some blows, but those right hands that he is throwing have really been hard ones. But Richie Valent determined, and that guy right there showed a lot of determination as he stayed right on it and drove Valentine backwards. Valentine will take a tremendous amount of punishment just to lay one of those big hammers in. And when he does, it'll just cave you in. All right, he switched him into the turnbuckle. And with the elbow. elbow. That elbow like a rabbit punch right to the back of the neck. And Richie now is hurt down on his knees to the top of the head. Try to drive his head right down through his shoulder. That elbow again. He's got Richie in trouble right here. Picks him up. Is this going to be a suplex? He's got him positioned. Yes. Yeah, with that suplex hard down right on the base of his neck. I see he could pin him here. Uh, but he, no, he's no, not he's going gonna to go with that elbow. Boy, David, he stood up to get every ounce of energy and strength in him in that elbow. And the, the expression on his face right. as he was going to come down.